solving absolute value inequalities using boundary testing. So we can apply the same things that we learned for solving one variable inequalities with boundary testing for absolute value inequalities. So first we can make an equation to find our boundary points. And I say points because our absolute value is going to give us two values in here most of the time. So x minus three equals eight. And we can figure out what those boundary points are by solving this absolute value um, equation. So I can divide both sides by two, isolating my absolute value. X minus three is equal to four. Now in this case, in order for this to be true right here, inside the absolute value, uh, it can be four or negative four. If this right here, if X minus three is equal to four, we know that the absolute value of four is four. If x minus three is equal to negative four, we also know that that's true, it's going to equal four. So two values are going to make that true. So x minus three is, can equal four, and x minus three can equal negative four. In either cases, that's going to give us a true equation. So then we can go ahead and solve for x. x is equal to seven, and we can solve for x here x is equal to negative one. That's going to divide now my number line into three intervals. So I'm going to have a value here at negative one. Let's go ahead and put zero on here. And then seven is going to be right here. So I have these two boundary points. These boundary points are not included because it doesn't have an or equal to. If it did, I would make a solid dot. But in this case, my dots are open. And now I have this number line divided into three sections. To the left of negative one, in between negative one and seven, and to the right of seven. So I'm going to test my absolute value uh, inequality in all of these. So let's do this first one, and let's test to the left of negative one. So let's test a, that's negative two, I think that's close. So I have a two times negative two minus three, and I wanna see if that is less than eight. So two times negative one minus three is going to be negative five, uh, and then less than eight. I wanna take the absolute value. Absolute value of negative five is five, so I have 10 is less than eight, and that is false. So this is not true over here. My guess is it's going to be inside here. So let's go ahead and test zero. Zero's in between negative one and seven. So I have two times the absolute value of zero minus three, and I'm testing to see if that's less than eight. So I have two times the absolute value of negative three, zero minus three is negative three, less than eight. The absolute value of negative three is going to be three, so I have six is less than eight. I know that that's true, so I know inside here is going to be true. And now I wanna test just to make sure this outside is not um, part of the solution. So let's test maybe a 10. So I have two times 10 minus three. I wanna see if that's less than eight. Two, oops, this is absolute value. Two times uh, 10 minus three is seven. And absolute value of seven is seven. And so then 14 is less than eight. That is not true. So this is my solution set. Now in order to write that, this is happening simultaneously. It's simultaneously less than seven and greater than negative one. So we would go ahead and write our algebraic solution where x is greater than negative one, so the values are greater than negative one here, but less than, less than seven. So that's happening together, that is an and.